getting into, yeah. he knew he had to protect his family. You right. know, and I, I think that he thought about that, his kids, his wife, and all that. And instead of banging and trying to go back and forth and fight that, because dude had him on paperwork, he couldn't really do this that's and right. that and a third. So there we go. When we see him, I'm like, damn, that's the dude. You know, my yeah. dude, what's up? You know, when I meet him, I'm like, dude, fuck it, fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Here, I took my chain off my neck, no limit, bam, put it on his. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Meeting Snoop Dogg uh, for the first time. How was that? Like you, dude, beautiful, you, man. You, you met him during the time when, when P and Death Row and uh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. getting him over to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how did that all go? Cause man, we, you know, we were always, you know, a fan of rap and music, especially me. You know, I know every lyric from every song we ever did. And Damn. Of shit, I would be singing this shit all day. You know, I was in the music at the time. And Snoop also was an artist in which you know he had been out before. Some of these fools are so deceptive, using my styles like a contraceptive. And I knew him. I loved his music, loved what he did, you know. And he was in L.A. at the time, so we out there doing our deals, mm -hmm. and we spending. We didn't move to L.A. Like yeah, I'm, I'm spending. You money, out there? Monday through Friday, I'm in L.A. <laughs> I'm home on the weekends. I'm back Monday. That's how we was working around the clock. Cause you know, we putting out albums and shit every Did you enjoy month. it? Mm. Yeah, it was work, but it was it was fun, but it was just, you know, it just constant grind. You know, just constant grind. So why you were grind. putting out albums so often? We, well, that's because we that's the way we said it. Had a camp, because but, one year you put out twenty eight albums in nineteen ninety eight. Mm -hmm. Was that planned? Yeah, because we wanted to, we knew what the numbers everything is numbers, right? Wait, so back to Snoop. Let's talk yeah, about Yeah, they're talking about Snoop. We done jumped <laughs> off the big dog. Yeah, he I love Snoop. Because he mentioned yeah, because, about albums, that's why. No, <laughs> it's because, you know, I love Snoop. Yeah. And I love what he represents. And yeah. I love the way that he learns and he absorbs things. And it was hard for him coming from L.A. to come to down south mm -hmm. and then embrace everything we had going on at the time. You know, that's a big change. You know, you leave in California, you leave in Dre, you leave in all your base yeah. that you didn't had all your life to go do something you know that you need to do to better your life. So big ups for him. Even for, doing for it. For having that kind of mindset though. Cause that's challenging and it's, it, it'll make you very afraid. You know, if you succumb to fear because of oh, what the people gonna say. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm leaving LA, this all my, this is just everything I know. But all the funk going on out there and yeah. the shit he getting into, mm -hmm. yeah. he knew he had to protect his family. You right. know, and I, I think that he thought about that, his kids, his wife and all that. And instead of banging and trying to go back and forth and fight that, because dude had him on paperwork, he couldn't really do this that's and right. that and a third. So there we go. When we see him, I'm like, damn, that's the dude. You know, my yeah. dude, what's up? You know, when I meet him, I'm like, dude, fuck it, fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Here, I took my chain off my neck, no limit, bam, put it on his. Wow. I never took my chain off my neck. Oh, yeah. And put on nobody, nigga. You nobody Houston. like that but you. Yeah. Houston, you I remember that like yesterday. I said, man, you with us. You but but wow. what did Suge say about this? And you, did y'all already work that out that he would be going with y'all? No, initially, we just, we, we saw him and we saw the situation he was. We just took charge of it. Did you ever have conversations with Sugar or any Yeah, P did. P did. P did. Don't talk. I don't, you don't do no talking. No. <laughs> yeah, because when I watch the movie, Sugar come off like you can't take nothing from him. Like he's That's a, a big, movie. bad, you know. Yeah, well. That's whatever. a movie. Yeah, dog, you with him? Fuck him. Let's get him. Exactly. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, like when you when you look at the legacy and the legend and what you guys accomplished, man. The real brotherhood, though. That's yeah. what I want to say. That you know, beyond the, the lights and the cameras, it's a real brotherhood. We check on each other. It's crazy. I go back to the time when there wasn't nobody doing independent movies, and about it was mm -hmm. a thing. Um, mm -hmm. I don't even see how y'all pulled that off. What, that where did y'all mindset? Y'all were young. Even you was older, but they were young for that. Listen. Snoop, Mystical, um, it would have been UGK and them too, but they- I gotta ask you about that, but I didn't want to, I'm but, Texas. But I'm telling you about this, if we see there's an opportunity or someone of our elk that's being mistreated in some way, and we have a, a way and an opportunity to put them together with something to make sense, to make money for both of us, yeah. we're gonna pursue that that's avenue. That's hard, man. We're gonna pursue that avenue because 
it's there and ain't nobody gonna stop me how you gonna stop me ain't gonna stop that? And yeah we on boss talk one-on-one yeah we gonna talk